is Rebecca and welcome to my channel. We're getting very close to Easter and so I thought I would show you how to elevate a Dollar Tree Easter egg from a Dollar Tree Easter egg to something high-end looking and just a wow. So come craft with me. I found this artificial grass table runner in the Dollar Tree Plus section for five dollars and then I picked up three of these 8 inch, they're 8 to 10 inch little Easter eggs that are actually meant to hold treats and put in Easter baskets. But when I saw them, I thought that they would be wonderful to craft with. I actually bought two of these table runners. I bought one to craft with and then I bought one to actually use. If your Dollar Tree has not had these table runners, I know Hobby Lobby has carried them and you can also purchase them on Amazon. I laid my egg out on top of this artificial turf. It's got a plastic mat on the back side of it. And I just started cutting my little grass mat, my artificial turf into strips. I chose to put my hot glue on the actual rubber part of the mat instead of the egg so that I could control the hold a little bit better because I did have to hold it pretty tightly and for a little length of time in order to get it to really stick good. Since the egg was an odd shape, I then just really put this together like a puzzle piece. Now when I was laying my pieces together, I did make sure that the artificial turf, that the grass was going the same direction so that when I cut it and placed my pieces together that you could not see the seams and I made sure that it was really tight against each other, not overlapping, but just tight against each other. I just didn't want a lot of unsightly seams and I wanted to make sure that my turf was all going in the same direction because then it would just look like I had pieced it together like a puzzle. But there's really no way to wrap the egg with this because the artificial turf mat the grass mat is very thick and it's very bulky and the egg is obviously an egg shape and so it's not going to have really even sides so you have to kind of cut in piece for everyday use the one that i purchased to use as decor i actually thought it was a really good investment especially for the five dollars because it could be used in the summertime for a table display. Also, it would be kind of amazing in the fall if you decorate any part of your house with a football theme, or if you throw a Super Bowl party. This, I felt like, would be a really handy investment and piece to have around for many different reasons. I just worked my way around the little egg I put several different size pieces together and I just kind of cut and pieced it until I did not have any of that plastic egg showing for my next project I'm going to paint my two eggs a Waverly chalk paint in the color scallion you can use acrylic paint you can use Kelly green paint you could use brown paint I honestly use the scallion color because I had purchased it for a certain specific project and it's an okay color if you like that color but I knew I was not really going to use it again in the near future so I did not want it to go to waste and I did not want it to get all yucky like chalk paint tends to do if it sits around for a while and so I felt like I really needed to use it so I chose the scallion but you probably do want to paint your eggs some color because once you cover it up you're not going to want to see the egg that white or orange underneath i did take some waverly chalk paint in ballet slipper and while i was waiting for my two eggs that i painted to dry i just kind of took a little brush and went against the grain against the little rough of the artificial turf and i just put a little bit of paint here and there and kind of just to zhish it up and give it just a little bit of dimension. 
it's a totally unnecessary step and it's just a personal choice. I'm going to use Spanish moss and then some reindeer moss that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Now that my eggs are dry and they're able to be worked with, then I'm just going to take a little bit of hot glue. I'm going to run a, a bead, a line, and then I'm going to start with the Spanish moss first and I'm going to cover my eggs. I'm not going to worry about full coverage or something peeking through since I did paint the eggs and I don't have any white or any orange showing through. So you just have to put just what your eye tells you that it needs some Spanish moss around it and just kind of, if you don't have your finger protectors on, just kind of pat it into place until the hot glue cools. Yeah, I have tried to use finger protectors and I do really good and then I sometimes just don't. And when I'm working with little pieces or things like this Spanish moss, the finger protectors just feel very bulky and I can't feel what I'm doing. And so I've just found it better sometimes to put my hot glue on, lay my piece on, and then just try to be as careful as I can and not burn myself. Once I have my egg covered all the way around with the Spanish moss, then I'm going to go in with the reindeer moss and just kind of pull it apart every now and then, just pull a little piece here and there, and then I'm going to hot glue that into the gaps. And I'm not going to do any specific pattern, I'm just going to let it lay how it lays going to add in little pieces and just kind of give it that rustic moss covered look that is just absolutely elegant and absolutely beautiful. I kind of wanted them to look like rocks that you could find on a creek bank. It has just a little bit of the moss and a little bit of the debris on there and those rocks are always so beautiful and they add such character to a creek bank and so I thought that that's kind of the look I was going for was just an irregular moss covered look and I wanted it on an Easter egg. I thought that these were very good size eggs to use as decor pieces and to put on a dough bowl or a tray and just kind of add a little bit of a high end look and some rustic elegance to an area of the house like my living room that I really didn't want a lot of colorful spring or Easter things in and I wanted to keep things kind of neutral and a little bit more warm inviting and welcoming because my living room is the first thing that people see when they walk into the house. I do love color. I love to work with color and I love the pinks and the greens and the yellows and the blues. All of the spring and Easter colors, I am in love with those colors, but I try to keep my living room very neutral and it did not take long. I just covered my eggs. I made two of these. I only made one with the artificial turf, the grass out of the grass mat because I wanted them to look when I displayed them a little bit differently. So I did not want them all the same. Once again, that is a personal choice. And if you want to make one or if you want to make three and you want to do them all with the artificial turf or you want to do all of them with the two different kinds of mosses, then, I mean, it's your house, it's your decor, and it's whatever you feel like looks best in your happy place. So it just goes to show that you can make anything look a little bit different and add an element of wow into your home. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell so that you know when I've uploaded my next video. Give me a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching Crafts, Lasting Chaos.